Hello, my name is Dr Abigail. I'm a clinical psychologist and I work with children, families and adults. I want to talk to you for a moment about this idea of homeschooling with the coronavirus around. Homeschooling, what is homeschooling? Well, homeschooling is a very serious decision taken over time. It's where you have available adults to provide a structured educational experience. It involves meeting other groups of children, going out the house to do activities, and it's a choice by a willing parent with time. It's a choice. Okay, so what we have here, people, it's not homeschooling. It's a forced choice with parental time stretched to the absolute limit, juggling work, without the availability of leaving the house, without the planning and all the structures involved with normal homeschooling. I think the term homeschooling is really inaccurate and it's really misleading and it puts an awful lot of pressure on parents who are already under immense pressure. For example, on the BBC I had the other day an interesting news article, but it was about a mother who was preparing to homeschool and she was researching the night before what she was going to teach her children she's putting the lesson plans together and it's like wow i felt inadequate after watching that we just don't have the time We're running a business and people working from home it's just not possible so i'd like to as a clinical psychologist just put my thoughts forward about what we are actually doing at these next few months with our kids home so to start with, I'd like to reframe it. Let's take the pressure off. Can we please call it home sitting rather than homeschooling? Because what we're doing is we're taking care of our wonderful children whilst the schools are out. Let's release the expectations that we're supposed to provide this fantastic education because the schools do that and they're great at it. They're paid to do it and they're trained to do it. And we just can't meet that expectation as well as working trying to juggle our jobs and often running the house as well. So let's just please call it home sitting. So secondly, make time to do your own work. Please prioritise your paid employment because this is an income. This is about being able to survive financially. So this does need to be a priority and needs to take, uh, you need to invest time in that as well. So rather than homeschooling, why don't we just call it parenting? Parenting your children rather than schooling them doing what we already know how to do, but just maybe do it a little bit more. So spending time together, cooking, focusing on connecting, playing games, talking, throwing a ball in the garden if you've got one, watching a movie, just hanging out together and really maybe laughing together, not trying to get them to do anything too much that stretches them, but just having fun together. Maybe just listen to them read it once a day as you might do normally or practice some spellings. Just small bite-sized bits of education that might just give them something interesting to do. So that comes to number four is use resources. The BBC have got these fantastic educational videos. You've got maths games on the iPad. You could think of a question they could research on YouTube. Obviously this is slight for slightly older children as well, but maybe it could be adapted to just thinking about ways you can get them to be safe and be loved and cared for, yet also maybe still for half an hour or so, so you can pick your laptop up and get on with your own work as well. So number five, create a timetable. I think this is so important. Now it's more to keep them busy and give you and them a structure rather than thinking, okay, I've got to cover all these different things that they'd normally do at school. So it's time when they know they can be doing their maths or know that it's free play time. And you can importantly structure in a time, okay, well, that when they're gonna go and do that, this is when I can get some of my work done. And then I can join them and maybe play with them for a bit and then I'll go back away and do my work again. So there's a structure for both of you. So you, within that structure, you make time to actually get your work done. And number six, put in place rewards. So for a lot of children, they need rewards quite soon. If it was at school, it would be the reward. Okay, there's break time coming up. So have something like that that you can get. You'll go outside in the garden and play with them after like an hour or so of, of, of being busy. Or they can have a particular nice cake after lunch. And then another reward in the afternoon that for maybe children a little bit older, they can go and play online with their friends or they can... Um, you'll spend some special time with them. So you've just got the day punctuated with rewards for the next thing for them to get to. And most importantly, again, just please see this as home sitting. Help them to feel safe, loved and supported. They're going to be finding this difficult as well. And we'll do another video about talking to your children about the coronavirus. But most importantly, just love them and be with them and tell them this will be over soon and things will be back to normal. And be gentle with yourself. Please don't put any more pressure on than you already have. This is an unprecedented crisis and it's difficult for all of us. So if you want some more support directly, uh, myself and my therapist and my team are offering online therapy. This is via Zoom or telephone, whichever you prefer. 
and you can reach us at malvernhillsprivatepractice.co.uk.